Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. If you guys resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want personal readings, hit me up at jocelynlovely84 at gmail. All right, this reading is going to be for my beautiful Virgos, which I said, and we're using the Black Moon Astrology cards, okay? All right, so I did a live earlier on YouTube. I always have, I go always go live on YouTube and sometimes it's like i was feeling like icky or irritable and i knew exactly what i wanted to get out of the reading and i did i did that successfully right um <clears throat> and i just feel that like whatever carried on from that reading is coming here i was a little worried that it would but it does not this reading has so much to it so let's dissect it and go fast okay all right i love y'all okay so we're using capricorn i use this is like a little um, Capricorn energy, right? It's a, the goat, sacrifice, and then you have Taurus. I have, you, you, you see these two energies right here? They're two opposing energies. I use, some of you guys, this is a real quick message. Some of you guys are sacrificing short-term pleasure, short-term um, needs, whether that's like, um, Whatever it is that, that brings you short-term pleasure, right? You're sacrificing that because it's, it's I use, right? So whether that's you needing to save money. So what's the short-term pleasure of it? It's you spending money to make you feel better. So I use money to feel better, right? That's an example. It could be food. It could be I spend money on food so, you know, so I could feel better. <laughs> and this is you realizing that in order for you to to really, really, really align to the um, to the goals that you really have in place. So for example, if what you really want is to save money, then you guys are going to have to make sure that your actions really align with what your heart desires in order for you to be able to make your dreams come true, which is in order for you to be able to save as much money as possible. You're gonna have to, I have, right? You're gonna have to live a little bit more frugal you're gonna have to uh save a little bit more or just live without you know um with with wanting to save more money in mind so that one day you can have you have this is long term right which one are you feeding are you feeding the short-term gains or are you feeding the long-term vision which one are you are you choosing to sacrifice at the moment are you sacrificing now or you do you choose to sacrifice later right so that's a short term uh for somebody out there okay the next part of the reading okay we're talking about sacrifice a lot of you guys we're gonna start with i have taurus was on top and on the bottom was partnerships seventh house partnerships i have partnerships some of you guys have maybe spent some time struggling when it came to partnerships i know that's gonna be hard to hear but some of you guys have really like lacked certain understanding of what it is to build a partnership, going into contracts with partners, specific partners, and, and being able to see it for what it is. So these partnerships not only are a direct reflection of what you need to heal, but they also represent what two minds can do um, when it comes to fulfilling tasks in life two minds are better than one, right? So it's almost as if it's asking you, are you having an Aquarius mindset as in a teamwork, community, partnerships? Are you having that type of a mindset or are you more on the Leo aspect of the, uh, of, of the mindset of I, 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 as long as I'm okay, nothing else matters. If I'm not okay, these partnerships do not matter, right? So I'm not painting out Leo as a bad, um, as a, as, a, as, a, as a bad, as someone who doesn't know how to work in partnerships, no. As a matter of fact, Leos are very good at that. They're very good at, at, at bringing leadership into a partnership, right? But it's almost as if it's saying, do you have the Aquarius mindset? Are you looking at it from a bigger perspective here? What are these relationships that you're about to go into? Some of you guys are going into contracts with people, whether that's coworkers, family members, um, significant others, relationships, friendships, you're about to go into partnerships that are going to have you asking these questions. 
Why am I going into partnerships with these specific people? What is it about these people that made me align to them? What do these people reflect back to me that I need to work on, whether that's in the shadow aspect, the dark aspect, um, what parts of me need to be healed, what parts of me um, are alike to this person, what, you know, uh, things like that. So it's not always in the dark aspect, but it's also in the positive aspects. How can we together solve a problem? How can we together make this work, right? Because again, when you're talking about partnerships, we're talking about two, an addition that's um, the double of, of mindsets, the double of, of productivity, but it's also the double of setbacks, the double of um, personality clashes, right? So for some of you guys, you've been struggling in that area. Some of you guys are wondering why you attract certain partners that you don't really see, uh, whether that's for, I'm guessing in the bad area, in the, in the area where you struggle, uh, why you guys keep attracting people that you don't really like. And your answer is, well, these people also do teach you something about yourself. They teach you about your weaknesses. They teach you about how you need to, how you come off. They teach you that maybe you aren't as likable as you think you are. You're not as kind as you think you are. You're not as humbling as you think you are. These are people who, who, who think of you as probably less than or think of you as a bad person. Whatever the perception is of you, they teach you something because these people are going against you. They're actually bouncing off of you. These energies are bouncing back off of you and there's a clash. So the, it's almost as if the universe is asking you, these partnerships are going to teach you a lot about yourself and the things about yourself that you, you need to work on. Are you willing to take the criticism? Right? Because within partnerships, you can also form enemies. The classic frenemies, right? What parts of self need to be worked on? Without you, you wanting to blame everybody else or project on anybody else but yourself, what areas do you need to work on? And are you willing to allow somebody else to teach you that? For example, if it's in relationships, your partner, yeah, it's going to be good and all within the first three, four months. But what happens after the honeymoon stage when you guys get to the nitty gritty of your darkest parts of self being exposed? Your partner is going to have issues with learning to deal with this part of you that 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 is unhinged, right? And vice versa, you're going to have to deal with somebody who has these characteristics that may not be so pretty. So then you have to ask yourself, do I abandon the partnership or do I overcome whatever these obstacles are between this relationship, right? Whether that's friendship or, or a relationship. And do I have the ability to, to overcome these things? Do both of us have the ability to overcome each other's um, setbacks or, or just like uh, see each other's weaknesses and still be okay and, and, and accepting of them? Or do we leave? Some of you guys have left a lot. So it shows that you're not willing to put up with a lot. You're not willing to work with someone and, and as a team effort to try to overcome things. Some of you guys are so used to being on your own with this character, Saturn Return. It's like you're so used to doing this on your own, but look how lonely you really are. Whereas if you allow somebody to come in and actually teach you lessons that, you know, um, could help you along the way, if you allow this person to do that, imagine how much more growth will come about. And also the way you deal with your relationships now help you set up how you're going to be able to deal with future partnerships with others in whatever dynamic in partnership it comes about. So. The next card is part of fortune increase. I know that was a lot for you guys. It's almost as if you're starting to see that. Every person is part of a whole cohesive union here. And you need to be able to work well with others. Because if you cannot at this stage of the game, you're going to really struggle along the path. You're going to have a hard time if you don't learn to set your differences aside and think as one. All right, guys, that's all I have for you, my beautiful Virgos. I love you so much. I know it was a lot of information, but that's all I can get out for now. Take care, guys. I love you.